Um, so from what you were just saying, I realized that I I wasn't speaking into like I wasn't speaking to leaders. In my mind, I wasn't speaking to leaders and trying to speak their language to help them, you know, evolve and continue being who they want to be. I was more speaking to somebody who feels so far from being a leader. How do I get her to believe that she actually is one? And now I'm realizing maybe that was part of the conflict in my mind with my messaging because I wasn't speaking to a high enough version of the woman I want to serve. Yep. I think you hit it right on the dot. I think sometimes when our four W's aren't aligned, that's when we start to have issues within our business, right? So the message is not talking to the right person or vice versa, right? And so, yeah, I think your niche is talking to the person that wants to become more of a leader. They just, they realize, or they've come to the realization, they don't have the mindsets or skill sets in order to do that. That's, that's, that's what I see from my perspective. See, and that's, that's who it's, it's been. And I think I've been, I just really want to start speaking into, uh, I don't want to like label this. Like I want to help everybody, but like, I want, I want to start connecting with women who they already know, they already know their leader. They just want to like enhance them. They just want to like keep growing and, and, and expanding that. Mm -hmm. And so I think my, I'm, I think my messaging just is back to feeling a little bit all over the place. Okay. So let's just revisit the four W's starting with the why. Okay. Um, I believe, you know, the, the way I interpreted your why, and again, you'll want to put it in your own messages. I believe, um, gosh, how did I word it now? I believe, um, that knowing I believe to be a leader, you need to know who you are as a leader. To be, I believe the best leaders know their identity as a leader. I believe, right? And so usually your why starts with, I believe. And it's kind of like what I said, you know, I just kept asking the question, well, why is that important? Why does that matter? And usually it takes a few whys to really get down to the, to the core of it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I like the idea of just asking, like, even, I don't know, a question that came up was just asking, like, what does a being a leader even mean to me? Because mm -hmm. I say that all the time and I'm starting to step into that, but it's like, what does that actually mean? And then, and then maybe like doing the pillars that way. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so then I would revisit your way. So now what's the way you actually help them achieve the why? Okay. What's that three-step process? Okay. And then when we start to get into your graphics more, we're going to lay it out. Like here's one, two, three, essentially the steps. Okay. Do you remember talking about that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any type, anytime you could have a visual like I'll, sh I'll show you the latest visual that we just created. Anytime you have a visual to what you're trying to explain, people um, trust it more because we trust our eyes more than we trust our ears. So I'm going to share my screen. And this is a graphic I just had Alona create. Why people love working with NextGen Agency. And so I just put the top four things to create the it life. I put the message and then the quote. Okay, ensure success, scale business faster, teams win championships, okay? And so anytime you can put um, a picture behind what you're trying to say, people will trust it more. I mean, think about, think about the events, right? Every time I get up there, what am I doing? I'm drawing some stick figure or something on paper that a third grader can do. But that's the level of understanding that you want to go to. If a sixth grader can't understand what you're saying, then it's too complicated. And sometimes this was my problem right out of, uh, right out of college when I got my degree in exercise science. I was talking to my clients like an exercise nerd. <laughs> We're going to go through a hypertrophy phase and you're going to stimulate that actin and myosin to like 
talk and they're like, what are you even talking about? <laughs> and so they didn't follow. And if they don't follow, then they don't follow. Mm, yeah. Right. So like another example, right? Like you see all over in the book, right? When I start to explain this concept, mm -hmm. leaders give people vision. So if you could show people the problem and then also the solution through visual, it really helps solidify everything that you just said. Yeah. Make sense. So yeah. we'll that process and then getting back to your ideal client. So I would just revisit that again. And so, um, yeah, you're just, you're just evolving really fast. You know, most people, you know, it takes them about a six months to a year to go through this evolution. And I think you're just going through this evolution really fast, which is really good. Um, so I'd revisit the three ideal clients. And then when you're summing up your client, it's a client that experienced this pain and they want this pleasure. It's so funny because <clears throat> you said it just so simply right there. But for some reason, when I'm going through it, I'm like, okay, so she is, <laughs> she does this and she does this. And I like overcomplicate this person. But okay, so will you just say that again? Yeah, I mean, you're going to dial down into the psychographics and the demographics and all these things. But when we're summing up, like, like, when we're summing up our four W's, especially for that, who you're just going to be like someone that experiences this pain and they want this pleasure. Yeah. Okay. And then lastly is what's the transformation? What's the result? So if people buy in, if these people buy into your why and they follow this way, what's the result that they're going to create? And then we have to make it both a tangible and an intangible. And, and that's where a lot of coaches, I think, get stuck is they focus um, the, it's always split. They're either focused way too much on the tangible or they're fo focused way too much on the intangible. And so you want to make sure that you're really describing both when, when you're talking about it. And that's how we came up like with ours, it's the it life. So influence intangible income, tangible, and then time freedom that kind of borders on both. Right. So you can create an acronym behind it. But the biggest thing when it comes to your four W's is pe do people feel what you're saying? Sometimes we get so logical and wordy that we're disconnecting from our brand because we're getting too word. And that's what I was saying earlier. You know, are you memorizing your four W's or are you internalizing your four W's? Because it's a completely different yeah. level of influence. And, you know, most coaches, me and Sam were talking about this the other day. You know, a lot of coaches start to get into the field and they start to learn NLP right? I'm sure you've studied NLP and they get into it from such a nerd perspective of it. And they get so analytical and logical that at the end of the day, how we truly influence is through our emotions, heart to heart, spirit to spirit, right? Our head, our conscious is only responsible for 5% of our actions. So if we're really trying to influence people to do something different at the end of the day, we got to go to their heart and the spirit, but if we're getting so analytical in the way we're delivering our NLP and it's super dry, right? When we communicate through our head, we get people stuck in their head. We, when we communicate through our heart, we get into their heart. When we communicate through our spirit, we get into their spirit. And so sometimes people think they, they could uh, um, communicate through their head to get into people's heart and spirits. And maybe sometimes you can, you'd have to have the right person at the right time to hit them with the right information, but it's just too hard to do that. Right. So. Yeah. And then that feels a little forced and kind of like. <clears throat> it doesn't feel, it might be authentic, but some, but your people don't feel the authenticity, even, even though it, it could, even though it probably is. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's all about, like you said, like a confused buyer doesn't buy. Like if they don't understand, if they can't understand at their level, then it means you haven't connected with them at their level. Um, 